Hello, friends. Welcome back to another episode of Baldur's Gate 3. And we are currently in, uh, I guess what looks like a little dungeon. It is an ornate door here. And who knows what else. Let's check out the looter's trunk. Cup, plate, gold, and glass chalice. Cheese, tin plates, bottles, and a wooden crate. Let's check out what's in there. Candles. Interesting. Journey through the jungle? The adventure. Let's see, the sun had just fallen below the horizon when I first heard his call. A thousand reed pipes at once whistling, a single beautiful, terrible song. Ulu Thalong, said Jaw, it's coming. Draw, Jaw dropped her back and scurried up the nearest bitter. With a bit more effort, I climbed a tree of my own, and the two of us surveyed the grassy ground beneath. Ah, there it was again, above and beneath and all around, so close my skull vibrated from the sound. The ferns and foliage under me rippled and swayed. Jaw held a finger to her lips to demand my silence, and in one motion it snatched her. A vine? A tentacle? It hardly mattered. The hunter had found its prey. Jaw's scream swelled, then faded as Ulu Thalang dragged her away. I leapt down to give chase, but the creature left no mark behind. The grasses were untrampled, the shrubs unbroken. I had only the memory of that harrowing call to guide me. Okay. <laughs> no more prayers. Only dust and silence. Opulent chest. Who are those prayers for? Uh, Normally okay, the God is obvious. Cutting board, oh, yeah. milk cans, another wooden crate. More candles? Looks good. Row of books. Anything? Hey, listen, you know, there could be loot. Wooden trunk. Do we look in this one? I don't think so. All right, let's, uh, See what's through this door. It's locked. Well, unlock it. Let's go. How'd you get past Andor? Back Mari, huh? You missed. Um, let's move here and then we'll go ranged against her. And let's see, let's go this way. Uh, Sacred Flame. Turn undead, no. Charm person? Oh, let's see, a charm creature can't harm the charmer, and the charmer has an advantage on charisma checks against the creature. Let's just go. Oh, she saved. Hey, someone's in here. Oh, okay. Let's see, we've got Torga, Barton. Kefri Hasid. Let's see, can we make a ranged attack here? <laughs> yes, we can. All right, and should we hide? Yeah, let's hide. And I guess we'll get into here. Is 
Do we want to... How far away can we get this grease? Right there. I think that's a good idea. We'll get some grease on the, on the ground. Kind of force them to come to us. Move up a little bit, and let's get Gale in here. And let's be done. Oh, he made the saving throw. Let's see. Ah, oh, there we go. Let's go here. And sneak attack. Nice. Good damage. And we're going to stay there. What are you up to? Hmm. Eh, sacred flame. Oh, made the saving throw. All right, let's uh, stay there. Rare frost. Oh. Uh, ooh. Try to get that snare done, do ya? Let's see, which bolt gives us a spell slot? Fire bolts. I think that's where we need to go. Fire bolts. Nice, and we got the environment burning also, so they have to go through that to get to us. So we're going to stay back here. We're going to let them come to us and... Did they just... Yep. <laughs> okay. No, we didn't get that one. All right. Also going to go Firebolt here. Oh, a miss. Oh, well, let's go rare frost this time. There we go, got you. So Sefri is kind of out of range, it looks like. Yeah, um, we can't hit him. All right. Minor illusion? No, we're going to go Sacred Flame here. Wow, we keep, uh, keep missing that. Wow. Well, we knocked him prone, I guess. That's a thing. There's some damage. <laughs> All of the misses in the world. Alright, what do you got? Let's go melee here. Ooh, a miss. Wow, we're just not getting it. Melee again. There we go. All right. Time for loot. What do we got? Quarterstaff, scroll of animal friendship, simple robe, interesting. Oil barrels. Shield. 
Shall we see what's behind the ornate door? What have we got? Bedroom. Rustic chest. Ink pots and quill. Bed, row of books. Candle. Nothing in the cupboard. Check the crate. Pile of books. Shabby wardrobe. No. Stool. Can't use. Of course we can't use it. It's on the floor. Do we check these books? All right, looks like there is nothing else really here. Um, we didn't really investigate in here. Vases, bench, candelabra. Looks like nothing in there, so let's keep looting. What did you have? Let's see. Short bow, alchemist fire, gold, another torch, basic poison. How about this one? A great club, ringmail armor. Okay, did we check the first one? Who was the first one? No, it wasn't Sefri. Oh, here we go. There's Marie. Leather armor, short bow, thieves tools, more gold. Ornate door. Oh, thieves tools. We'll take those. Thank you. How does it open? Oh, how do we open it? Can we kind of get through here anyway? Another door on the other side. Now let's get through here. Ringmail armor. Torga. Leather armor and a short bow. Rows of books. Oh, let's, uh, let's keep uh, exploring, see what we have in here. Looks like a big, uh, the unclaimed, huh? The sturdily bound story of a cleric of Shar whose soul was never claimed from the City of Judgment. Hmm, I wonder how Shadowheart's going to react to that, seeing as how she's a cleric of Shar. In life, her service had been impeccable. Daily did she devote herself to the Lady of Loss. Daily did she free herself from the tyranny of memory. All in time was lost to her. Her relations, her preferences, even her own name. Upon the altar of her devotion placed she the ultimate offering, her emptied mind. And when she died, when she awoke in death and found herself standing in the pale and faded City of Judgment, she waited for the Lady of Loss to retrieve her. A million souls and more passed her in colorless, colorless gusts. But no hand materialized in her hand. No voice whispered instruction in her ear. No guidance proffered itself from the bleached and barren sky. Time, immaterial time, passed around her like air, coming and going. And still the goddess did not come for her devotee. Kelimvor pitied her, as much as, as the Lord of the Dead is able, but could not intervene. This cleric of the Lady of Loss, unclaimed despite her worthiness, might yet have one more lesson to learn. That of not forgetting, but being forgotten. Oh, can't reach that. Nothing. More books? No? Nope. Let's see. Chapel records plaque. Let's look at the chapel records. recognize the language on the plaque. 
fine dust coats the pages of this weathered book. Beneath the bone-white powder, hundreds of short obituaries are recorded in tiny script. Grobian Tipler, Ilmater, Drowning. Yvain Arkinson, Agma, Internal Rot. Devrin Stout, Saloon, Fever. Okay. Loots. Another looter's trunk. That's curious. Oh, what are we, uh... Lever! Pull the lever! You know what, let's go back... Here. Oh! Door's open! We found the door! Let's go. What's in here? Let's see, we've got candles. You know, light them all. Let's go. Light the candles. Light the candles. Let's try to open the door. Whole place reeks of necromancy. Ooh, dank crypts. What's in the crypts? Let's go. Opulent chest, iron candelabrum. There's another one. Now we have the dark vision, so we can see. No. Oh. Loot. More loot. Let's see, what do we have here? We got heavy oak doors. Bench, vase. More more doors. Gilded chest, huh? Let's Loot this one, too. Ooh, amethyst ring. Very nice. So I think we should go to the right first. And what have we here? A sarcophagus. More candelabra. A brazier. Gas pits. Beware of gas pits which spew surfaces or clouds. Cover them with sufficiently heavy objects. Okay. So, maybe we can use the vase? How about this one? There we go. Um, I guess that's covering it. Do we see more of them? Let's keep looking around. Something over there. Ah, oh, we found another one. All right, can we move this one on here? What's this? A button. Uh, let's go there. A little bit at a time, we'll just keep moving these things. Keep looking around. What do we see? Now oh, we found another one. There's another. Uh, can we move this one on here? Yeah. What else? Oh, we got one here. Let's 
Let's move that one over here. Oh, there's another one. Brazier. Can we can we light this? What about uh we have a torch, right? Do we have a torch? Alright, let's just move this on top of here. We're not interested in what's in it. Let's light up this one. It's in the crate. Well, let's put the crate on top of here. There we go. Another candelabrum. So we've covered a bunch of these things, haven't we? Yeah. Now we see any more? What's in a pike and a skull? Let's turn that one on. What's that? Uh, what do we see? Oh, yeah, yeah, let's put this back on top of there. Alright, uh, let's loot that. Okay. There's two more over here. Let's check these guys out. This center one has, uh, looks like some kind of significance. A war pick. Ringmail armor and a bone. Gargoyle heads. Onyx ring and a bone. All right, let's uh, take a look. No, th these look like definitely look like some kind of trap. And this definitely looks like something that um, might be a problem if we grabbed it. So let's see. We've got these gargoyle heads. And can we do anything with it? Interact with it in any way? No. But we can kind of trigger it. Oh. Uh, Alright. Let's read the plaque. The text on the plaque is a mystery to you. Okay, so we've got mystery text. Alright, let's loot it. Alright. Force turn-based mode. Okay. Nothing's happening. Alright. Oh, hello. Oh, that's a button there. Maybe, can we press the button? Anybody? Oh, we got down people. Down people. Uh, let's go turn base here. Let's go here and hit the button. It won't move. Oh, that's interesting. Um, let's use a potion of healing. And let's run here. And you can be done. Oh, Asterion failed the saving throw. Can we use the scroll on him? No. Let's help. Now what about you? Right, let's go here. And help Gail. And then move here. And end your turn. 
And you can end your turn. And can we use help here? Yeah, okay, we got him up. Nice. Alright, let's move you here and your turn and move you here and end your turn. Well, let's leave the turn. I think we can leave turn based mode safely now. Alright, let's open the door. Oh, it's locked, is it? And let's pick it. Oh, we lost. Absolute failure here. Do we have any more these tools? Yes, we do. All right, let's try it again. Oh, failed. Now we've got no thieves tools left. Ouch. Total bummer. Um... We had a key, didn't we? Where's the key? Engraved key. Okay, there we go. Let's put that there. It's still locked, huh? Uh, no. Did we just drop it somehow? On the other side of the door, probably? Oh, that's not good. That's not good. You know what? Let's give everybody a rest. Because they're all hurt. And let's have an interaction with Gail's ego. Are you seriously, like, checking yourself out, dude? Um... Yeah, what are you doing? Neat trick. Why are you studying your own mirror image? That's a bit of a waste of time, dude. What does it make you think of? Uh, first and foremost, that damn tadpole. Until quite recently, nothing at all. Yeah, if you're about to start a lecture, I'm not interested. No. Uh, Spot on. Day one, fever and memory loss. Day two, hallucinations and graying skin. Day three, hair loss and blood leaking from all orifices. Need to go on? Uh, no you don't. My point is this, our orifices remain blissfully unblooded, our heads remain clear, and our blood temperature normal. Any expert will agree, this is abnormal. Um, long live the abnormal? Can you explain why the symptoms aren't showing and what makes you the expert? Oh, here. That, alas, is where my knowledge fails me. A rogue might call it luck, a priest might call it fate. As for what myself, do you call it? I'm a pragmatic. I see the silence before the storm. Something to sleep on. We should get some rest. Okay, yeah, that's probably a good idea. Uh, all right, do we have anybody else? Hanging about. No, let's get rest. Everybody needs to heal. What are you up to, my fine friend? All right, let's see if we can't. No, no, no. Uh, let's unshackle you from the group. Let's try to press this button again. Hmm. Well, let's see, what's this? Pile of bones. What's there? Nothing. Another pile of bones. See, there's the button, there's the plaque. And we're fresh out of thieves tools, aren't we? No. Oh, we got one more. Okay. Thieves tools to Astarian. Let's group everybody back together.
And Astarian needs to equip the Thieves' Tools once again. Let's go for it. And we got it this time. Nice. Door is open. Oh, hello. We were... This is where we were before. Okay, so that's... Uh, out there. Let's go back in. All right, so we've been through here, so let's uh, let's see what's on the other side of the room, because we checked out these doors. Come on. And let's see what's on the other side of the crypt. There's a gilded chest over there. No sign of a struggle. Interesting. So subversive about their words that they commanded protection. Uh, quarterstaff, scroll of burning hands. Intriguing. Let's light up the brazier. Maybe we can see a little better. And we saw a gilded chest, didn't we? There's a scribe. Uh, the chest is in this corner here. Dagger and gold. Scroll of guiding bolts. Scri Silence. Nice. That's some nice stuff right there. Let's go. I wonder what leads up there. That's interesting. So let's look through over here. Do we see anything? Yeah, it's super creepy, that's for sure. Without a doubt. Book of Dead Gods. This book is far lighter than it should be with such a massive lock. Hmm. Arcana. Search for an arcane rune to sabotage. Smash the lock open. Knock the lock open with a spell. We're going to go Arcana here. We need an 11. Oh, and we failed. Yeah, let's go for a roll again. We've got... There we go. Got it that time. As the lock opens, a loose page comes with it. Magic pulses from the parchment. What was once script is now an obliterated scroll. You have a sense these are names, a list, but of what? All right, let's go for a religion check here. We need a, we need an eight, and we get an eighteen. Gods. These are the names of gods, once lost, but now restored after the second sundering. Entire pantheons have dwindled and been reborn, silently recorded by this book. All right. Let's see, we got... Scroll of Ray of Enfeeblement. Not bad. And we can, ooh, we can learn it, too. Nice. All right, level two, too low. All right, so this, we can actually, we can learn Guiding Bolt. Okay, we, oh, we can send it to other characters through there. That's pretty cool. Instead of just drag and drop, we can... Send it. Okay. More loot. Uh, oh, we've... I guess there's nothing else here. Let's take a look. Can we light up the candles? Yes, we can. Do we see anything? No. Uh, 
I mean, we can... Do we really want to try to jump into this stuff? I don't think that's a good idea. All right, let's go back in here. Keep looking around. Entombed Scribe. There's a chest in the back. Another scroll of silence. A heavy key. I wonder where that key leads us. See what's in the chest. See, can we? Do we jump down here? Journal. This must be ancient. No one worships the final scribe anymore. Ah. There's something over there. What do we see? Ah, a button. Click. Ooh. Hidden doorway. Uh oh. Um. Yeah. Uh. Creepy dudes. Something just woke up down here. Let them come. The darkness can be to our advantage. Oh, we got creepy dudes everywhere. Okay. Um, maybe we should have looted all these guys, like, beforehand? Nine meters. All right. We're kind of, uh, trapped here? All right, we hit him. And, he, and he's prone. Nice. Okay. I think we want to stay kind of down here where we're a little bit protected, actually. Uh, I think we're a little too far. No, we can't see him. All right, let's go for the warrior then. Nice, put him on the ground. I <laughs> can't complain about that. All right, that's the guy we're going to have trouble seeing. Do we have a ranged attack here? No, we don't. I think we want to get a Sturian more to the front. Oh, nice. You're down. Good job. All right, he's going to try to get up again. Okay, creepy dudes. Yikes! Creepy dude with the burning stuff! No, 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 no. No! No! Give me heals. Um... That was a bad idea. There, have some frost, dude. Alright, so we're going to take another turn of burning there, which is kind of no kind of good. Uh, guiding bolts. Yeah, guiding bolt on the Entomb Warrior for sure. Oh, a miss. Not good. That was bad. Stay out of that. Do we want to go Firebolt here? On the Scribe, I think. Oh, big miss. Alright, where are you going? Ouch. All right, not we're not afflicted with anything here, so let's go. I don't think we want to go for the guy on the floor right now. A 
I feel like poison isn't going to help us much here against the undead. Oh, good miss. Oh, they put Gal to sleep. Uh-oh. All right, we took our burning. Do we do Ray of Sickness? I don't think so. I think we have to go with... I think we have to go with Ray of Frost here. Let's get this scribe out of here. He's down. And then we can get up top here. Unfortunately, we don't have more heals. Let's go Guiding Bolt here. Now we got him. Can we wake him up? Knock unconscious. Uh, these are all actions. All right. Um... Yeah, we're going to do Healing Word on Gale. And then I think we're going to move up this way and be done. So he's threatened... All right, we've got advantage here. This is good. Let's go. Nice. Critical hit. Good to see. And we can go with the bonus action. Oh, missing that one. And we're going to end our turn here. That's good. So we've got these two. Ray of Frost on the Entombed Warrior. Now oh, we sent him prone, but we missed. All right. Let's move up here and then be done. I think we go for let's go right there and then let's smash this guy nice you're done all right here we go gail Can we go burning hands here? No, we go burning hands now. Now he made the saving throw. So you're pretty much out of actions. Color sprayed. Ooh, now we're blind. We're at disadvantage on attack here, but we can make the attack. No bonus action, though. All right, we're good. What are you up to? Just movement. So 
So let's see what we can do to you. Down on the ground. You can be done. Oh, a miss. Let's go. There we go. Nice critical hit. Gotta love it. All right, what do you Why have to say about this? Just to protect some dusty baubles, fools. Uh, let's see. Couldn't agree more. Besides, what do the dead have? What use do the dead have of possessions? They only attacked after we desecrated a tomb. We should have left this place untouched. Yeah, let's Their go with that. Maybe worth a few coins, all the same. So let's uh, loot. I think we looted some of them already. You got the Entomb Warrior. Ooh, Scimitar. There we go. Uh, we checked out that guy. I think we looted this one already. Uh, do we have any more? Let's see, I think we looked in that one. But let's see. Uh, bench, knotted roots. Uh, no, 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 we want... Body, body, show me the body. All right, we got everything. Now, if we went through all of that trouble, let's um, check this one out. Because, you know, loot. The Amulet of Lost Voices. Nice. The dead hold no secrets from Jurgles, Scriveners of Doom. The wearer of this item gains speak with dead. Level 3 Necromancy. Pretty good. Let's check out the plaque. Can we read it? Lies the guardian of tombs. Through knowledge comes atonement. Hmm. Let's see. Let's light up all of the candles. What's in the sarcophagus? I have a feeling we're going to regret this. Uh, yep. Undead dude. So he has spoken. And so thou standest before me. Right, as always. What a curious way to awaken. Now, I have a question for thee. What is the worth of a single mortal's life? Uh, quite the question. What's the reason for it? So he has spoken. What he are you talking about? A little spooked by the crawling out of the tomb bit. What are you? A peaceful undead. Interesting. Why aren't you attacking me? Let's go with the first Curiosity. one. Curiosity. Nothing more. Wilt thou answer my question? Yes. So, I ask again. What is the worth of a single mortal life? Uh, no one life is worth more than any other. We are all equal. That depends on the person's deeds. Life only value is its currency. Doesn't matter to me otherwise. Each life is of infinite value and merits sacrificing everything for. The only life that matters is mine. Depends on the mortal. Ooh. Let's go with each life is of infinite value. And thus, balance is achieved. If all are at war, none can win. Very well. I am satisfied. We have met, and I know thy face. We will see each other again at the proper time and place. 
Ooh. Farewell. How long has it been? That was both interesting and creepy all at the same time. <laughs> all right. Hooded... Where's this guy off to? Um, dude? Um. Should we follow this guy? Parchment and bone dust. Still comforting after all this time. Alright, I guess you're gonna hang out here. And we wanted to look this way. Because there was a lever. And what do we do with the lever? We pull the lever! Iron ladder. Wonder where this takes us. Wooden hatch. So I guess, oh, we're back over here. Interesting. Is there anywhere else we can go? Can we get up here? No, I don't know if we can get up there. Okay, we can, seems like we can kind of go this way. Climb the things. All right, we can get our, our way up here. And I think we need to rest. So we're going to rest again. Regain our lost hit points. Regain our spells. Looks like everybody is just chill. So let's go to bed. Do that. Oh, what a loon I am. And here we are. And in the next episode, we're going to explore the shoreline just a little more, see what else we can find. But I hope everybody enjoyed our first dungeon delve. If you did, please leave a like. I appreciate it. If you'd like to see more, subscribe. And we'll see you in the next one. Have a great day, everybody.